Hi, Dave Jack here, <clears throat> Superintendent of Pocket County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Um, I received two questions recently. One came via my student advice, one of my student advisory groups that I meet with, and um, one from a parent. Actually, it wasn't a question from a parent. It was more of a, a heads up about some stirrings and um, uh, misunderstandings about the new homework policy. So I'm happy to address them quickly, but couple of things. I was surprised in, within my student advisory groups how few students even knew there was a new homework policy. Uh, so we'll, we have to, I have to take ownership of that. And uh, at our principals meeting on November 7th, we will revisit uh, not only the, the uh, new homework policy itself, but also uh, what steps were taken or can be now taken to make sure everyone is completely aware and understands what the new homework policy is. Um, the students also asked, the students who were not aware of a change in homework policy asked, asked me specifically what the changes were, and that relates to the concerns I, that were shared with me from some parents. So let me tell you what the homework policy does not do. The homework policy does not tell teachers or school principals not to assign homework. Um, that wasn't the goal of the new homework policy. The, new, the goal of the homework policy was to ensure that we are providing meaningful, um, a, a variety, um, and best practice homework um, opportunities for students. So, in other words, we needed to make sure that whatever we were assigning to students is meaningful and um, is different and, and reflects what we're, we're asking teachers to do in the classroom, which is provide a variety of different instructional techniques. So the homework that we assign should match that. Um, the other, other pieces of the policy that are different, uh, we all, all agreed that the homework should not count for more than 10% of a student's grade, and it should not uh, necessarily uh, cause a student to fail a class because homework is practice. Uh, it's supposed to be practice anyway. So those are some non-negotiable things that we discussed, and and this is really all about in in the end the end game is to make sure we have a level playing field for all students. Not not, and in my view, it's actually raising standards, especially for teachers, because you know homework should be meaningful and homework sh should be something that's you know, a, an authentic practice for students. Um, not just something to do in order to get a, a mark in the, in the teacher's grade book. It should have meaning. It should um, reflect best practice. It should um, come in a variety of forms. And teachers should provide feedback to the students in terms of what they assign. So these were the goals of the change in the homework policy. And it also included things like teachers should not um, assign homework over weekends or holidays. Well, uh, we've come to learn that the 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 uh, language in the homework policy should be more intentional, perhaps, and should say instead of should not, it should say may not, because some teachers are interpreting that as well. It says should not, so that they they perhaps feel like that gives them an option. But the fact of the matter is, we we don't want students doing homework over weekends or holidays that's time to be spent with family in our view now AP there within the homework policy AP dual enrollment honors classes they there are exceptions for those classes because we recognize that there's much more rigor associated with those courses and and uh, much more uh, much higher expectations in many cases than gen ed classes so we get that and we have made uh, exceptions in those cases, but that's raised another issue, and that I, that I heard from students the other day, whereby um, they're st still doing the same amount of homework, but it's only counting for 10%, and in some instances, homework used to count for 20%, and so um, now it can only count for 10, and um, but it's still the same amount of homework. So students were lamenting the fact that you know that creates a real hardship for them. So I'll finish up by saying this, the reason we wrote, and it's a misnomer to call it a homework policy, it's actually homework regulation. We added a homework regulation that mentions those things that I've just been talking about. 
but the regulations, the reason we did a regulation is because they're easier to change than a policy. So a school board policy can only be changed or implemented by the school board. A regulation can be adjusted, tweaked, revised by me, and I don't need to have the school board approve it. So um, that's one of the things we'll be talking to principals about on uh, November 7th at the next principals meeting is, all right, is it, is it time to step back from the homework policy, examine it, and decide, do we need to tweak it? Are there parts of it that maybe need to be revised? And, and most importantly, we need to make sure that all students and all teachers are aware of what the, what the policy, which again is really a regulation, actually is. So I uh, hope this has been helpful to you. I hope everyone has a great day.